This is a story about three women connected to each other through ties of blood and friendship. Erica, a frustrated artist married to a successful businessman, and Sydney, a writer married to a cellist, are cousins part of the illustrious Navarro family. Only child Mia, a Chicana feminist scholar teaching at a local community college, is married to an actor. Friends since childhood, these women grew up in the small town of San Martin. Pomegranate is a novel about the importance of family, of friends, of faith. It is a novel full of interconnected stories of children and husbands, extended family, and a variety of friends set in the farming communities of southern New Mexico and far west Texas, across the border from the horrific violence caused by the Mexican drug war. As Sidney writes in a letter, there really is a terrible power and desire in all its forms. In this contemporary story, which starts one New Year's Eve and ends 12 months later, actions carry grave consequences, almost as mythic as the pomegranate, an ancient and unusual fruit is highly symbolic for many religions and cultures. Following this year-long journey, Erica, Sydney, and Mia, after many years, are once again living close to each other, and strange events begin to unravel their lives, twists and turns as serpentine as the Rio Grande making its way through the San Martin Valley. Mysterious and dense, like a pecan orchard in bloom, old loves, marital strife, stolen identity, family pressures, cause lives to break open, exposing seeds of disappointment, secrecy, and betrayal. Perhaps Oscar Wilde said it best, the pomegranate split and cracked, showing their bleeding red hearts.